Aloha Pineapples. It's pretty dang cool, I gotta say. Pretty excited about it. Today, I'm gonna show you how to create patterns, vector images, and more automatically using this new feature in Photoshop. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And I'm uh, so excited about this new feature in Photoshop 2020. So if you haven't done it already, step your little uh, fingers out there and go ahead and make sure you update Photoshop because this is something you don't wanna miss. So a while back, Adobe created this app called Adobe Capture, which you could use on your phone. Basically, you could upload images and automatically make patterns. And it was super cool, but it was on your phone, totally different from Photoshop. Recently, they've added all that functionality and more into Photoshop. So today we're gonna to show you around this new feature within Adobe Libraries, and we're gonna create a fantastic graphic from scratch. We got a great tutorial for you. Uh, let's jump into Photoshop. So the first thing we need to do is go to Window and down to Libraries. This is where our buddy, we're gonna click on this little plus sign here. You can see Create from Image. This is our new best friend, super cool. Now, provided you have an image open, just go ahead and click on Create from Image and we have a new dialog box that comes up. Let's just go ahead and make this a little bit larger. Now, up here in the top, you see you've got multiple different options between patterns, you can create shapes, color themes and gradients. It's very, very well done and super easy to use. So we're gonna start off here with our patterns and I'm gonna go basically start by changing the scale of our pattern. You can change the rotation and you can kind of get an idea of what's actually going on here. This is the image itself and how the pattern is being taken from that image. Let's just go ahead and rotate it around a little bit more like that. Cool, create something nice and simple and fun. Now, don't forget, you can actually use different types of patterns here too. So if you wanna create, you know, like something a little bit more trippy, here we go. And this is just incredibly easy to do. So we have all of our different patterns right up here. But for now, I think we're gonna go ahead and stick with that one. So let's go ahead and change our rotation down, maybe our scale down. I wanna create just something that's like really nice and simple. Okay. But that's nice and fun. So let's go ahead and hit save to CC libraries. And if you do this, it just literally just saves it to your library. And this is gonna sync on all of your devices that have Creative Cloud signed in. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our shapes. Boom, super easy. You can just, you got one slider here, so couldn't be easier. I'm gonna click smooth on save. And this actually creates a vector graphic, which is fantastic because you can scale that larger and smaller and you're not gonna lose any resolution. So let's go ahead and save this to our CC libraries as well. So fun. Up here we can click on color themes and it's actually gonna pull different colors from the pineapple. And of course you can move these around and if you're like, ooh, I like these colors, of course you could use them to create graphics and things like that. Let's go ahead and save that to our libraries. Fantastic. And we even have gradients. So you can create your own start point and end point. There we go. We got a midpoint right here. So here we can see it's gonna change from this, you know, green color here to a bright orange, maybe a dark orange. That is so fun. You can even change the amount of stops that are in your gradient and then start pulling those around. But let's just do a two stop gradient right now. So it's just gonna go from this color to that color. Super fun. So let's go ahead and save that out as well. And that's pretty much it for your asset creation. Now, you can also add additional images here and even do a mix up, which is super cool. But for now, let's go ahead and use this stuff to create a graphic because after all, like that's the big deal, right? Like cool, I can create this stuff, but how do we actually use it in somewhat like a real world setting? So let's go ahead and hit close here. And you can see that everything that I've just made is actually waiting for me right here in my library. So I'm gonna create a new image. We're just gonna go, uh, our width will do 2,500 pixels and our height will do, let's do 3,000 pixels on our height. Fantastic. Now to start with, I wanna go ahead and get a pattern in our background. So I'm gonna click on my pattern, literally just click and drag that pattern right in here. Let's hit F for full screen. And you can see it's like full resolution, right? Like that's a pretty nice pattern that we did like basically in two seconds. So if we wanna change some things about this pattern, super easy, just double click right here on your pattern fill and we can go ahead and lower the scale. So let's just bring this down a little bit. Here you could change the pattern if you wanted to, which is nice, but let's just go ahead and lower the scale. So we'll just make this a little bit smaller. 
okay? You can click in here to kind of move this around as well if you want to do that. And we'll bring our scale up a little bit larger there. All right, that's looking really, really nice. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and give us a little bit of a background because I'm going to create like basically what would be like the front of a piece of packaging or something like that. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead to our rectangle tool. We're just going to draw a rectangle. There we go, right around there. Now our colors here, we can actually choose our from our color themes if we want to, but I kind of want to choose one of these uh, green colors here. So let's go ahead, make sure we can see everything. I'm just going to squish this down here. Okay, fantastic. So our color, uh, I'm just going to click here and just use my eyedropper to choose like a nice uh, dark green. There we go. Fantastic. And then we're just not going to use a stroke on this one. Okay, so this is going to be our background. Now I'm actually going to duplicate this. Let's click and drag this to the new layer icon. Now this time we're not going to have any fill there, but we are going to have a stroke and I'm going to pull the stroke color from my image itself. And then let's go ahead and just shrink that down a little bit. Control or Command T, and then you can hold Shift and Alt or Option. Kind of make that a little smaller. And then let's bring up our stroke width a little bit. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's hit Control or Command T. I would just want to make these both a little bit larger. Fantastic. And here we have a nice background for our graphics. So the next thing I'm going to do is bring in our pineapple. Literally just click and drag this pineapple, boop, right in there. It's going to tell you all about what it's going to do. Just hit OK. Fantastic. We have a pineapple ready to go. I'm going to hit Control or Command I to invert that pineapple. Looking good already. Now I want to add a little bit of text. So I'm going to hit T for the type tool. All right. We're going to type in Aloha. I'm going to do a duplicate of that and we'll just type in pineapples. Fantastic. And then basically I just need everything to like come together in a cohesive manner. So let's go ahead and hit control or command and click on this rectangle. This is kind of like the bounding box for everything that's inside of it. Okay. Now this other rectangle with just the white, let's go ahead and use our move tool. So we hit V for the move tool. We'll align that vertically and horizontally. And then the same thing with our pineapple here. Let's align this, boop, make sure it goes in the center. And then Aloha and pineapple. Let's go ahead and click on those, boop, and put those in the big, in the middle as well. So here on our pineapple, we'll just change the font weight. We'll just make that a little bit larger and it looks like I didn't spell that right. So there we go. And let's go ahead and deselect and go make these just a little bit larger. So here we have Aloha pineapples. And then the color for both of these, let's go ahead and grab the color from the background there as well. Okay, and Aloha, I want to lower the font weight a little bit. So we'll go uh, just to regular. Now let's go down one more. All right, we'll call that light. All right, Aloha pineapples. Aloha, yes, please. Okay, we'll bring everything together. And then I think we can make this pineapple a little bit larger. There we go. So I'm just holding Alt right now. Make sure it gets a little bit larger. And hit Enter. Fantastic. This is so cool. I mean, the fact that like literally all this stuff, it looks like I spent like a lot of time on this and it looks like kind of I know what I'm doing uh, when in reality. <laughs> Thanks Adobe for just generating all this stuff for me. Now, the cool part about this pattern fill background is check this out. I'm going to go just close this stuff right quick. Let's just say I want a little bit more background because this is a pattern fill. I can just hit C for the crop tool and check this out. I can just make my crop a little bit bigger. So we're just extending the borders of our image. If I hit that checkbox up there, look at this. The pattern in the background automatically fills in, right? Like if I use my crop tool and maybe I want to stretch it out that way, look at this. The pattern in the background automatically fills in. I could see this, you know, on packaging, things like that. Uh, you could make your own custom, like, a wrapping paper for Christmas time using patterns, people's faces and fun stuff. There's so many different uses. Let's just go ahead and change our scale a little bit here. Kind of like go ahead and refine this just a little bit to see how we want it to look. I think that looks great. And you know what? Everything up here, we're going to go ahead and group that and just make it a little bit larger. And here we have Aloha Pineapples. Hit Control or Command A and we'll just center this vertically and horizontally 
And there we go. Let's hit F for full screen. Look at this cool graphic that we literally made in almost no time, completely generated from a JPEG. I don't know about you, but I'm super digging these new tools in Photoshop. I think they make it so easy to create these type of graphics. So let me know your thoughts in a comment right down below. Are you using these new advanced tools in Photoshop? Do you like these episodes where we're updating you on the newest features of Photoshop? Please let us know in a comment right down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna get a free tutorial from us every single week, click on that subscribe button right up there. YouTube thinks you're gonna love these videos. And if you wanna become a Photoshop boss, check out Flurn Pro right up there. Thanks again. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone.